everyone I was requested to do a full phase of MAC cosmetics so that is what we are going to do today but I thought I would make it even more interesting and do it in like the form of a celebrity inspired look because I saw this photo of BB Rexa um, her makeup looked amazing it was like soft glam but like glittery and <laughs> that's basically just like me in a nutshell like my favorite kind of makeup I mean you know let me just zoom in to the makeup so you can see what I'm talking about here like how beautiful so I thought I would try to do a look using all MAC cosmetics and create this kind of vibe might be a little bit different because I don't know what I have I feel like I have basically everything from MAC except perhaps mascara so that's fine and like maybe lashes so we'll just do our best I'll just use as many as I can and if you enjoy it please let me know which brand to do next all right primer first oh I have this I forgot I tried this okay this is a lotion spray so I'm just going to use a little bit of this first just to moisturize my skin this is the coral grass softening lotion spray I might just do a test just like that and then blend that in and then I'm going to use a little bit of strobe cream I was going to use this one but I've used it in a couple of videos recently already the tinted primer so this is strobe cream and gold light one of my favorite MAC products I've always had like some strobe cream in my collection um, probably for like the past like five or six years I've always had some I just love it like I just love it it's perfect on its own or under makeup and it just makes your skin glow this one has like gold pigment in it but you can also buy it with just like nothing but I don't know I love the smell it's like nostalgic for me and I'm using this as primer today I'm just kind of like finger combing my eyebrow hairs up all right now oh my god I just love the like glow it gives my skin look at that is this like angle right I feel like I need to like sit higher on my chair around my eyebrows I'm going to use my 24 hour smooth wear concealer in the shade NC at 20 I really like this concealer um, it doesn't move around too much it's a really good coverage but it's like really lightweight like it's not too thick so I'm just like drawing that around my brows so that I can define my eyebrows now and then later on I won't have to use so much product I'm just using a dual petal brush to blend this out just flipping the brush and blending that you can see how well it covers up the redness on my eyes like look at that where I've just applied it with such a small amount as well I like MAC like people have just like given up on that brand I don't know like I still love it I've loved MAC since like I first started my YouTube channel it was like my dream to own MAC makeup I used to buy secondhand MAC makeup because I couldn't afford like you know brand new MAC makeup and then I saved all my money and I got MAC makeup like a MAC lipstick for my birthday my mum drove me all the way to Wellington because that's where we had to buy it from you couldn't buy it online anywhere and it was like the best day of my life I felt so cool I was in love and I just find like the quality of the products was so consistent I do wish they still did really fun collections like back in the day they did like you know like Barbie collections and like really cool pastel collections and stuff they're still doing collections but I feel like no one talks about them I guess there's just so many makeup brands now that you know just kind of gets lost my most recent favorite was the cherry blossom collection that um, launched last year that's when I went to Japan with Mac and got engaged Woo. but yeah like that collection was bomb like the packaging it was so beautiful it was this one like the pink with the cherry blossoms and everything and they had the cherry blossom fix plus and everything breathtaking but anyways I don't know what do you guys think about Mac like what are your thoughts around the brand I just find there's so many amazing products that no one talks about I guess everyone's like over it too like I guess you know like a lot of the collections are just like staples that everyone already has but in new packaging and things so I don't know but I, I also feel like they've already done everything <laughs> you know like they've got like every color oh my god my skin's looking at terrible right now I've been really anxious and like picking at my skin so please excuse that self-isolation has got me with too much time on my hands <laughs> I think I'm gonna use this foundation again because I really liked it the lightful naturally flawless foundation I was gonna use one of my little um like compact foundations but I don't know I just really want to use this again because when I used it the other day I was like whoa so good I'm just gonna use a brush because I don't have a friggin <laughs> sponge ready this is the round face brush I'm just going to buff it into my skin I'm just going for like a rather light layer and then I'll touch up any areas I need to with some concealer I just love the finish of this on my skin it looks so pretty oh this looks so nice on top of that strobe cream as well like it just glows it just makes my skin look so pretty 
like if you love natural kind of finishes and like just something that is kind of like a light medium coverage that you can build to full it's just so pretty I don't know I'm gonna mix NC15 and NC20 under my eyes but on my face I'll use NC20 I'm just going to cover all of these marks so I'm just gonna like apply it and then we will blend it soon once it's dried down a little bit because this concealer like it goes on quite wet but then dries down a lot and then under my eyes I'm just gonna do like three dots of each color I'm just gonna begin blending that one under my eyes a little bit just kind of tapping it into place I'm just using my dual petal brush again starting to blend it with this brush and then going back in with my foundation brush I'm just gonna like stipple over those areas just to blend out the concealer some more we should be left quite flawless all of these marks are like being little dickheads so I'm just going to lay like one more little bit on top and then at this time I'll use the warmth of my finger to gently tap it. To see under my eyes I'm going to take the Light Medium Studio Fix Sculpt and Shape Contour Palette. I love this. You've seen me use this quite a bit. I'm going to take the light, maybe these two, the yellow and the pink mixed together on a small face brush to set the concealer my yellow color just like brightens so much i love how it looks i need to use this more often under my eyes i always forget to use these palettes remember back in the day i used to always use that kat von d one um before we boycotted that brand lots of people are asking if i'm going to use it again now that they have changed owners and yes i totally will i just don't have any yet so pretty under my eyes like just the finish let me see if you can see when i zoom in a little bit like it's just like this beautiful finish natural and bright okay rest of my face obviously gonna use my studio fix but this time I'm going to use the shade NC30 because that's more of like the actual color I am right now so it'll fake tan on the um, foundation's a little bit light but that's the only color I have so this will just help to add a little bit of depth and I love the setting powder you guys already know don't pick your skin guys my skin looks like crap now, like with all these little marks all over it. It should heal in a couple of days, but I'm so angry at myself. I know what I'm doing while I'm doing it too, and I just can't stop. Like, it's actually like really weird. Do you guys have any weird habits you do when you feel anxious, or is that just me? I guess some people like bite their nails and, you know, chew their hair and stuff like that. Mine is I pick my skin. Lucky me. All right, what kind of bronzer is BB Rexa wearing? Fuck, she's got the prettiest eyes, I swear. I mean, it doesn't really look like she's overly contoured, highlighted, bronzed, like anything. But I'm gonna do some highlighter and blush and all sorts of stuff because I just wanna make this like a full face, you know? If you really want to recreate this look like to the T, like it really doesn't look like she's wearing much face product at all. Maybe like a bit of contour and that's it. Doesn't really look like she's got anything on her cheeks at all. So for us, we're going to be inspired by this look. We're not going to copy copy it it's just like my inspo today for my um bronzer i have global glow by mac i love this it's so pretty it's super shimmery though so yeah we aren't gonna look exactly like how bb is looking actually before we do that let's just quickly contour with the same color as before so i'm using the middle color from the palette and a domed contour brush and i'm just going to sculpt out my cheekbones i haven't done like a hard out contoured look in a little while so i'm gonna go hard today and I'm going to dab some on my nose, bring it up, little tiny bit on my temple. And then just with my little small face brush I used before, I'm going to take more of that pinkier shade and just kind of go underneath where I contoured to make it sharper. Taking a little bit of contour just under the lip. And then with the Global Glow, I'm going to add that above the contour on the back of my cheek and bring it up over top of the contour around my temples and just blend that over a little bit just around my hairline a little bit down my nose oh, this bronzer is so pretty why don't I use it more it's like right in my alley because I love like a glowy bronzer oh my god my skin looks amazing right now like literally amazing I need to use this combination more often I never over the top of the contour under my lip just making sure it's all super blended I'm gonna take some under my chin this is just a medium face brush by the way okay that's looking really nice Let's look for a MAC blush next. I just want something super natural. Maybe just a little bit of warm soul. Like that is just a winner all the time. If you're looking for a MAC blush that is just perfect for every day, this is it. Applying a little bit to my cheek. Just cause, you know, BB's not wearing any blush. So this is like a natural alternative because I do want to wear some and it is a little bit shimmery. I'm using the exact same brush. So pretty. 
Okay, and then highlighter, I just really want to use some because I've got heaps of MAC highlighters I love. You guys know my current favorite is the um, Postmodernist Peach. But we'll use something different because I've used it a few times lately. I might use this one. Show Gold is probably not even available anymore, but it's got this pink reflect. I don't know, I just thought it'd be a bit of fun. It's like pink and peach and gold. I don't know. I'm just gonna do a little bit on this side just to make sure I like it. Yep, this is my ugly side, so it's my test side. It's super pigmented, so I've literally used just the smallest amount on both sides. Tiny, tiny, tiny tap just on my tip of my nose and then a little bit just up here. See, I just love the way that looks, like just for a little bit of something extra um, to an otherwise very nude look because the eyes are very soft glam as well. I'm just using my powder brush just to make sure it's all blended nicely. Okay, let's do a little bit of brows. I do have that product I showed in my latest declutter, my eye makeup declutter. I'll link that video down below for you. Um, I found pens with the little shadow end. It's the taupe, that's the color, shape and shade brow tint. So I'm gonna zoom you all the way in so we can see what we're doing. I'm just gonna use, I've got this little lingering pencil. I think it's lingering. Yeah. And it's got a spoolie on the end, which I use a lot. So I'm just gonna comb the hairs I know where I want them and then we have this like liquid so I'm just going to softly draw in some brow strokes and this just gives you like a super natural almost like freshly brow tattooed effect can you see where I've put it like you shouldn't even be able to really see where I put it it's just so natural and just do little strokes all the way across I'm just going a little bit more heavy-handed on the end here just where like I've got a huge blank spot. Super quick, super easy. And this color is very forgiving. Obviously if you're using a darker color, it can be a little bit more like time consuming. But for me, like this is so sheer, like it really does work, but you can barely see it when you swatch it. But when you put it on your eyebrow, like it's just like the perfect amount of pigmentation. If you go too low, like I did just there, you can take your concealer brush and just erase it. And then on the other side, there's this little like pencil, like, wait, not pencil, like what do you call it, powder? I haven't really used this side before, but I'm just going to dust it through where I've got like some sparse areas at the back of my eyebrow. Oh yeah, that looks nice. It's kind of like sticking down and just adding that coverage. And then just to set everything in place, I'm going to use one of my favorite MAC products, which is Beguile. I think I've got the pronunciation down pack now. Is that how you say it? Beguile? Someone said it's Beguile like style <laughs> and that kind of stuck in my head. I'm just going to run that through just to see everything just like that. Looks nice. Okay, brows are on. For the eye makeup we'll start with Painterly Paint Pot, which is an old favorite of mine. Mine's like staying to dry up but like it's all good, <laughs> I think. Just going to apply some of that over my eyelid to make sure that all of my veins are hidden. And then it just kind of nicely blends in to my skin tone. It is definitely a little bit dry. I definitely should have mixed some kind of like eye drops or something into it just to revive it a little bit. Hopefully my shadow blends nicely on top. We'll soon find out, I guess. So she's got a super smoky, ooh, you're not even <laughs> in the frame, girl. Super, super smoky lash line. Nothing on the lower lashes, which I kind of love. Love the way it looks like. Her eyes are just so sexy. I wish I had eyes shaped like this. And like the makeup kind of goes outwards a little bit, or at least the shadow makes it look like that. I don't know, we'll just try it. So we need a kind of medium brown, like a warm medium brown. So I've got this palette here. This is the Art Library Nude Palette. Ooh. And I think you can buy most of these shades separately anyway, or similar ones by MAC. Oh, it's a little bit cool time though. I feel like we could use this one. Okay, we'll use this shade here, which, what is this? Is this espresso? I think it's a, yeah, I feel like it's espresso and I'm going to take on a tulip crease brush to start and I'm just taking a little bit on my brush and this is going to kind of go outward. I need like a little card. I'm just going to cut this. Yeah, this color actually looks really good. Okay, so I'm going to kind of like wing outward like that just to elongate my eye and just blending it into almost nothing. Yeah. Kind of like that. I'm going to mix it with the color next to it, which is called Teeter Tint. This one, just to lighten it a little bit and just warm it all up. Yeah, this paint pot's like dry AF. It's like kind of hard to blend on top of. So I need a new painterly. Which I don't really use it anymore. I probably don't need a new one. It is good though. Okay, I've applied heaps of that and then I'm going to take a blender brush and just run over it to make sure it's real soft. Just like that. I'm going to do the exact same on the other side. Next time I'm taking an eye definer brush with this color. She's using more like a black 
We're just going to use this so we can use one palette. This is Dance in the Dark. And I am rubbing that across the lash line. I don't actually know if I've got a black eyeliner by MAC. Because I probably would have like donated it because I don't need more black pencil eyeliners. So I might just like rub a little bit of a different black eyeliner in here as well. Just to like get that effect. So we cheat. And she's got a... A little bit winged out by the look of it. I mean, it's hard to see once again. You know, it might be fine by the time we um put on falsies. I'm loving this look already. I love a good simple makeup look. I am going to do more colourful ones, don't worry, by the way. Lots of people love colourful tutorials and I love filming them, so there will be some coming. I don't know, I just was in love with this look when I saw it. I was like, I need it on my face now. And then she's got glitter. And in a normal situation, I'd probably go in with one of my Stila Magnificent medals. It would be perfect. But I do have MAC glitters. I've not touched these in yonks, so this is a good excuse to whip them out. And I was thinking maybe bronze from memory. I haven't actually looked at my collection yet, but you can see the colour. Oh, can you? Love that reflection. Um, I don't know, it's like a very bronzy colour. I know I have a MAC bronze one. No, it's definitely not really a gold. Even like a copper. That copper is quite close to what she's wearing. I might mix them together and see what we can come up with. And to stick them on, I'm just going to use some of my lit glitter adhesive. So I don't have a MAC one on me. And it's basically just like all over the first half of the eyelid. This colour kind of reminds me of Macaron by me. <laughs> From my Heaps of Sweets palette. It's a similar kind of colour. I'm going to use a Detail Crease Brush by Exo Beauty. And then mix together bronze and 3D copper. These two shades right here. So I'm just kind of like mixing the glitter together on a little card I have here. I'm just going to start near the inner corner and just kind of build it up because I'm nervous. I just poured out way too much glitter. Oh god. Glitter is everywhere. Holy shit. I have messed up. And just like that, I'm gonna have glitter in every single makeup look I do for the next two weeks because it's just gonna like infiltrate my entire life. There you go. And she's kind of got it like a little bit above the crease as well. I'm kind of keeping it a little bit sheer. I do not want it to be opaque. And we'll clean up the fallout in a second. I'll show you how. And then I'm gonna make it actually a little bit more concentrated just on that inner kind of area of the eyelid itself because that's where it looks like she's got the most. Okay, now for the um, glitter underneath, I'm going to take a clean fan brush and just flick it off to the best of my ability. Most of it should just flick straight off if you've set um, the rest of your face well. Alternatively, do the eye makeup first. You guys know the drill. And for lashes, I'm going to use the Feline by So Beauty, which are like super winged out and natural still. Like they're long and full, but not like huge foaming lashes or anything. Because her lashes look fluffy and natural but long. So that's what we're going to do. I'll be right back. Here's my before. And here is the after. How bomb do they look? Like seriously. Perfection. I'm obsessed with these. They look so good. I love how it looks with no bottom mascara as well. So that's the eye makeup. Now for the lips. It's just like a warm kind of nude with a slightly darker lip pencil. So let's go for it. It looks pretty matte, maybe like a little bit creamy. Definitely not super glossy though. So I definitely got some MAC lip pencils in here somewhere. I might start with Oak, which is a little bit of a darker kind of brownish yeah, toned nude. Slightly overlining. MAC lip pencils are not my favourite. I find them very stiff. Like, I kind of like a balance between stiff and creamy. They're alright once you, like, get them warmed up, but I don't know. They, I just don't reach them a lot. And then for lipstick on top, I thought I would just go for Myth. I feel like that's quite a safe little bet. And it's also just, like, one of my favourite colours. I'm just wiping off. I've got, like, some pink lipstick on top of it. I must have, like, mixed it. Oh, that's going to be way too light, actually. How about this one? My Tweety. I think this is a powder kiss. That's probably a little bit better. I feel like hers is a little bit creamier than mine. Maybe I'll just add like a touch of gloss just to cream it up a bit. I don't even know if I have a MAC lip gloss. I okay, do, but I just don't really like them, so I don't usually keep them. I usually donate them. I've got a couple of powder kiss ones, but they're completely the wrong colours. I mean, powder kiss? What? <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. These are the, um, what are they? Cherry Blossom Collection, like I was talking about earlier. Here we go, this one might work. This is the Lip Glass in Coral of the Wild. I'm just going to do the tiniest amount, you guys. Just like dot, 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 dot. Just to cream it up a little. Really rub it in. I feel like this is going so bright all of a sudden. What's going on? Alright guys, thoughts? How do you think I went? Should we do a little bit of Fix Plus? I have this one. This is the mini one in pineapple. 
Mm, smells so good. It smells like a pina colada. Okay, we're gonna take these hair clips out. And that is the finished look. BB Rexa has like this updo, like curled front bits, obviously. I have straight hair right now, but you get the kind of, you know, kind of the idea. Look, my feet tan's like developing even more at this point and getting darker and darker. I feel like me and her have similar colored eyes, except hers are way more like amber honey and they look so much better than mine, so I'm kind of jealous, but anyway. She is absolutely stunning. I love this look so much and I would definitely wear this again, 100%. I feel like her lipstick might be a little bit more pinky toned than mine. Mine's quite like orange. I'm being very extra now, but I'm gonna add a little bit of Given by MAC. There we go, that's a little bit more accurate. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Once again, let me know what brand I should do next and I will prepare that for you guys. This was a really fun thank you to whoever suggested it because I used to do one brand tutorials quite a lot back in the day and I just haven't done one in a little bit. I think my last one might've been like Too Faced or something and maybe it was on Instagram like Instagram TV, I'm not too sure, I can't remember, but anyways, I need to do them more often. I would love to do like a drugstore one too, I think that would be fun. I feel fresh, I feel flawless, I feel glam, but not like over the top, like this is just like a vibe, I love it. I will talk to you guys in my next video, bye. <laughs>